We focus now on the American Eagle, and Randy, we go old school. Give me a wooden roller coaster that can hit speeds of 66 miles per hour, please. Did you ride this one? Uh, no. Does that thing have seat belts? <laughs> that I do not know. Good question. For over 25 years, this double track coaster has given passengers a fast eagle's eye view, if you will, of the park before careening down a 147 foot drop. Back here at Six Flags Great America, our continuing coverage of the Geico PBA Team Shootout. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson, and Deandra Asbady here with you. Here is Sean Rash, member of Team USA. 7 0 on television in his career. Right, on, including man. that win at the USBC Masters last season. <laughs> Sean Rash is in the right zone. A little bit too much ball, a little bit too much hand, too, too high a rev rate. But he's kind of getting into the right area. Does that make any sense to you, Rob? You lost me at rev rate. There's 3-6-10. Right, he drops. Right, to go. Gets the spare to Rash for Carmen's Cartel. The lead at 18. Come on, Roy. We conclude the seventh with the... Rookie of the year, and what a season Rhino Page had. That's in the There's a nice break crossing over for Rhino Page. And you know that Carmen Salvino did not like to see that. Page, the first of three lefties for Roth's Raiders. Here's Michael Fagan. Watch the backswing on this one. Woo! Way up. What did you do? I got that. Okay. Trying to go straight, but very difficult for a guy that hooks it as much as Michael Fagan. Right, swing in, babe. Right now. Any suggestions? Any suggestions? Left the six in the third frame. 6-10 here in the eighth. I feel terrible, bro. That's, that's, that's the problem. A big frame coming up for Ross Raiders here in the eighth frame. Patrick Allen stepping up can really take control of this match and actually take the lead the strike here in the eighth. As we take a look at the chameleon pattern. 39 feet in length, and this pattern's played the toughest all season long. That's why they call it the chameleon. Hard to figure out. Forget about that. You can't play in the middle part of the lane. Move out, play the outside part of the lane as straight as you can go. That's what the lefties are going to do on their side. Speaking of lefties, here is Patrick Allen, the 04-05 PBA Player of the Year. He's won at least one title in each of the last five seasons. Big shot here. Here we go. Oh, wow. no. Leaves the big go. four. Jeez, God. And if you know Patrick ball. Allen like we know Patrick Allen, because we need he it. just got real sick to his stomach there. <laughs> oh, we're, we're in trouble. How do you attack this? He's going to throw it really hard at the 4-7 and try to have one of those pins bounce out and take out the 6-10. Or that way. Field and goal. miss them all. Oof. Nice. Two open right, frames right. this match. Both of them coming from Patrick Allen. Put the berry shot on him. It will be tough for Roth's Raiders to bounce back unless they can get that endless 10th frame going. Here is Wes Malott. We begin the ninth, the foundation frame. Working off a spare. Lead at 28. That will help the lead. Just the, just the fourth strike of this match for Carmen's Cartel. Yeah, but you know what? They've got only one open frame. They're staying out of trouble when they don't hit the pocket. They're making their marks and their spares. Ross team, well, they've got three open frames thus far going into the ninth. He doesn't strike here. Well, we're set. We're set. Could be four <laughs> open <laughs> frames. Carmen Can't giving us a little Can't commentary. Huh? Parker not liking it. The game they got <laughs> and the Southpaws really that struggled for Ross win. team in this match. Uh, run her down. Well, Rhino Page did throw strikes, but Patrick Allen open frames. And now an open frame here for Parker Bowman third in the foundation frame. We go to the tent. Walter Ray Williams Jr. 
with a massive lead can really close the door on Ross Raiders as Carmen's Cartel looks for their first win. Oh boy. Look out. <laughs> this is a nightmare. I mean, these guys can't wait for this to get over. Five on the lane. Hey, boy, you quit chirping on my man's on the lane. He's on the lane. The next time you mow and chirp, I'm punching your coach out. I'm punching your coach out. I think he'll do it, too. I think I think Carmen needs to uh, to get some decaf going. Stat. Come on, Tom. Walter Ray walked away. From an open frame. Yeah, he doesn't shoot the three nine very often, but right now they just opened the door up for Ross Raiders. Remember the endless tenth frame and one of the best closers in the business, in Tommy Jones. Score to beat is 180. Jones needs to string some strikes. Speaking of, great shot by TJ. He's been solid in the tenth throughout this event. Two more strikes will give them 163. We'll get them into the endless 10th frame. They would need two more to win this game. It has been a very unattractive match thus far for Roth's Raiders. Four open frames, including ones in the eighth and the ninth, but they still have a legit chance at pulling this one off. Jones, this has to be a strike, and it is. Needs another one to kick in the endless 10th frame. Good shot, Hoss. Good shot. Uh, yeah, Hoss. You know who that is, don't you? <laughs> that is the calling card of Patrick Allen. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Big shot here. Anything less than 10? Ross Raiders go down in defeat. One time on a steal. Got it. Now the anchor, Tommy Jones, coming up huge. Three in a row, kicks in the endless tenth. That's why Captain Roth has this guy bowling anchor. It'll be first. So now Mike Wolf steps up. He must strike to give Rhino Page the opportunity to strike and win. Means nothing if Wolf. Can't get all 10 to drop here. Look out. Justice. Can I have the bug on the lane? On the bar. Carmen's cartel. All the talk and finally paid off. Kicks that first win. Wasn't pretty, but it was effective. 180 to 163. We'll hear from the winners when we return.